Tourism and more so agriculture has always been seen as the two most important sectors within the economy in terms of government's programs and policies and financial returns. Before independence, it has been said that more focus was placed by government on agriculture. Campaigner for Grenada's independence and former member of the Grenada United Labour Party, Norton Noel, says during the period of the 1930s, 40s and 50s, the term agriculture was not used and estate workers were considered labourers. He says, however, following the massive strike in 1951, several changes were made which impacted the agriculture sector and workers by extension. After Mr. Gary Kiman intervened and had his union and called that massive strike in 1951, that changed everything. Because before Mr. Gary, there was no um, maternity leave or maternity pay or back pay or anything of the kind. Mr. Gary introduced all this into Grenada because of his struggle which almost culminated in 1951, around March, in Latant, when some people were shot dead. By 1955, the two unions, the General Workers' Union and the Grenada Workers' Union, had formed the Grenada Trade Union Council. They negotiated jointly with the Grenada Agricultural Employers Society for workers in the agricultural sector. During this time, there was growing concern among workers that the existing unions were not representing them well enough. In 1950, therefore, on the return of Sir Eric Geary from Aruba, his newly formed Grenada Manual and Mental Workers' Union quickly established branches throughout the island. There followed some fierce battles for recognition, particularly in the agriculture sector. Noel says in reflection, one of the major issues facing the industry is that of pretty larceny. It's killing agriculture. Not enough is being done to protect the farmers, for example, in every village of Grenada, nearly everybody knows the people who are thieving and those who are receiving the loot. But the thief, when he's caught, he's taken to court and maybe he charged you $50, $100, $200. He gets out there and thief again. Nadia Benjamin OBE, in also reflecting on the industry changes, says much work went into agriculture and feeding the nation. She now feels that these efforts were in vain. But it seems that we have lost the focus on agriculture and the farmers are, you know, in a state. We also now, when we remember the days when we got nutmeg bonus, it was a lot of money for the farmers coming early. Farmers would go and start purchasing material to build their houses and this, that and the other. But it seems now that things have changed and the focus is not on agriculture. Both agree that the development of the agriculture sector must go hand in hand with tourism as the economic benefits derived through the forward and backward linkages between these two critical sectors have been well established. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.